Yo, what's good? K Fallon with K Fallon Beats. Small World Publishing LLP about that life records. It's been a little minute since I did a tutorial. You know what I'm saying? But I kind of fucks with this beat right here. So I'm going to let y'all get a little insight on what I did. I actually did a tutorial yesterday, but audio was fucked up. So I do it over. So I'm going to just speed through this a little bit. You know what I mean? Y'all just follow along with me. Um, I got this guitar loop here, if I'm not mistaken, I got it from, uh, it's in one of these, I think that's like one of the, the throwback legacy packs that's on here, I think, I know I got it from, I know it's not like a crazy sample, so, yeah, it's, I got it from one of these fucking um, packs or some shit that I got. But I'm let y'all hear it right quick. Alright, so that's the loop I'm working with. So, I got it down here twice um one time going at the regular um you know 65 beats per minute but it stretched out to fit the 145 and then for the second loop i cut this cut the speed well sped it up to give it a little bit of a different vibe so let y'all hear this real quick That's pretty much what we're working with. Um, I'm gonna go through these sounds right quick, let y'all hear the some of the sounds that I'm using in here. It's just some type of pad that I got from um, this Dex plugin I just found somewhere online. Don't ask me where. It's a simple little string pattern though. This next one is an art. It's from the same plugin. Which I did. And everything else is just basic, simple shit. You know, clap snares and shit. No, pretty simple beat. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let y'all hear some of this shit right here. Um, with the claps and the snares. 
the volume level. Ah. So as you can see, the volume levels with some of the claps, I drop them and give it like a fade out effect. And with the, actually I'm meaning to do this. I got these two basically copied, but what I want to do is, So I'm going to swap the stereo on this because I actually have it this. I got used to this shit again. I got a, got the, the newest version of FL12 on my other computer. I got to remember what shit is. But you can see the with the with the panning, I got it going left to right. So I just added another clap basically to play it in both. You know what I'm saying? The, for the, the panning effect of it. And I pretty much got the same thing going with the snare. You know what I'm saying? Panning left and right. You can hear the fading. Let me turn these off. So just to pan it, I mean, just to bring the volume down some so that way, you know. It just adds a little bit of a different effect onto the beat when it's riding with the drums and shit. So, alright. So, I'm going to show y'all some of the things I did as far as the mix goes. On this... Ooh, excuse me. Got a basic EQ2. Just cut out some of the low end. Cut out some of the high end. And this is, you know, the bulk of the piano melody. So, just wanted to add a little bit of volume to that. this part because it's the same melody but since it's sped up the the frequencies you know they vary because of the the tempo change and shit like that so try not to add a little bit try not to add too much high end but just enough to get that that clarity of the piano melody um then i put a fruity love filter on it it's the default stop I just so this is what it originally sounds like when it's not cut or anything like that so just bring this down to kind of cut some of the high end out of it a little bit all right so we're gonna go to this we're gonna go to the pad basically with the pad just cut out the low ends so it don't interfere with my kicks in my 808. Cut out the high end because it's not really, you know, as you can see, it's not really too much high end. That's just basically air in extra unwanted frequencies that, you know, sometimes it will get picked up in your final mix. So I just cut all that shit out so it don't even interfere with anything. That's pretty much all I did with that. Um, on this... Since I already knew where the sound was, that I, you know, that the high frequencies is what I wanted to stand out, but not too much. So, um, with this, I'll go ahead and reset it all the way back, let y'all see what I did. So, I just brought this low end down, back it up some, take this right here, bring it down for that high end because this. You know, it originally starts like right here somewhere. Let me reset it. It starts in the middle. So I just bring it to the to the frequency that I want to cut down. And then just bring it down some. So this is basically high end. So if I was in the EQ2, 
So it's basically where it'll be at, or give you all a better understanding. Just load this up. So as you can see, the high sound, the high melodics is basically in this. Well, where are we at? I would say this 2700 and up range. So here, I basically, you know, I'm covering all of that. What's in here, bringing it down some so it won't be so loud, but you can still hear it. I'm saying, so I'm gonna close that out. Go with the claps. With the claps, I did pretty much the same thing. You know what I mean? Brought down the low end, bring it back to cut it out some. And I don't want to bring it back too far because I still want that the weight of my claps within the beat. Did the same thing with the snares, cut the low end, bring some of the high end down so it's not piercing when you listen to it. A lot of <clears throat> beats you hear, the snares and the claps be so high, like it's the, the high melodics, the high end of it, it kind of pierces your ears. So I kind of bring that down so it don't, you know, you can hear it, you can feel it, but it's not too dominant. It won't, you know what I mean, won't give you a headache or listener fatigue, what they call it. Um, with my kicks, I layer my kicks, as y'all can see, I use um, three sets of kicks, it's just for for depth, um, what I do is I cut the low end, cut some of the low end, about 35 hertz, depending on where my 808 is sitting, um, I'm still mixing this, but I mean this is a rough mix, and right here so hold on so my kick is hitting hardest in that 60 to 65 hertz range so that's where I want to bring the volume up just a little bit bring it up just a little bit to um you know make it stand out I need that punch of course and with the rest of these you know just cut the rest of these bands out because I want the air from this kick, I'm going to keep it. But if I didn't, I would just simply cut it out and then use the low end. But I'm going to show y'all why I'm keeping the air. I'm keeping a lot of the air on this one. So if I go to this one right here, as you can see, I cut out a lot of the air. Because I want this kick and my second kick to basically be under kicks i don't want them to stand out i just want them in the background for that extra little punch so i did the same thing with this one same got it in that range brought the the high end down so that way it's not too i don't have too much air interfering with my first kick and another thing i did was pan them both about 30% left and right to sit in each speaker. So, now as you can hear, it's, it's low, but you can still hear it. You can still feel it a little bit. I don't, hopefully, this shit comes out right because I got my goddamn speakers right next to the computer. So, hopefully, y'all can hear this shit. That's a simple trick. Another um, thing I did was added this wave shaper. Um, shout out to Busy Works Beats. I got this from him. Um, wave shaper. I just simply, you know, what I'm saying, load it up and just raise it up some to just add a little bit more depth to the kick, make it stand out a little bit. I'm gonna go into the 808. Because of the note I'm using, it's basically dominant. The punch is in that 40, about 35 to 40 hertz range. And then when I bring that up note, and I bring them high frequency notes, the F and the G, I have 
playing three right here to kind of accentuate that, kind of lift it up just a little bit more. And then of course, because I don't want all that extra air, let's cut all that out. So now it's the, it, it, the, the whole point of EQing is basically controlling the sound. You control, my fault, you control, you mean, your sounds by, by highlighting and, you know, just grouping the area that you want to, to focus on. And then I, what I do is I like to cut everything out. So that way it's not interfering with none of the rest of the, the frequencies from the other instruments. Saying so, that's that's pretty much the rough mix that I put on this. I really didn't do anything else with the rest of this shit. Everything else is just you know levels. Um, want to load it up into my other computer because I got some effects. I got some new uh, reverbs and shit that I'm working with. I like how they work, so I want to add it in there. Add a couple of them in there. You know, you got any questions or anything? Yes, yeah, so if you got any questions, anything you need help with, um, you know, you can drop a comment below. Um, anything person I could probably help you with as far as selling beats, shit like that. I'm real easily accessible. Um to contact me. Say contact me, kfelling86 at gmail.com. Um the link that will be in the description. You want to book a consultation. Um from now until you know New Year's, what I'm gonna do for y'all is I'm going to do half off on the consultation. So consultations only be $25 from now until January 1st. You know what I'm saying? I want to help a lot of y'all motherfuckers out. So get with me. kfella86 at gmail.com. Um, um, what else do I got for y'all? Oh, the beat selling contracts. Um, you can get you a copy. Click on the link in the description. It's only a few dollars, man. It ain't going to hurt your pockets. But I got four different contracts in there. Um, exclusive contract, leasing contract, a contract for y'all that use YouTube and upload your beats, um, and a free download contract for all y'all that like sending out free beats. You can send this contract out with your free beats, and once they uh, once they get it, they automatically gotta abide by the rules because they accepted the product as well as the contract. So, you know what I mean, you go, you definitely want to get your hands on that and. You know, I got other products and shit in the description. Um, I got a link for you to join my list. So, yeah, just get with me, man. It's K Felon, K Felon Beats, Small World Publishing LLP, about that life records. I'm out of here, man. Y'all be easy. Deuces.